I'm not going to lie. The pressure was so overwhelming as just a new DJ. It was extremely difficult just facing those anxieties and those fears from lack of experience in the professional setting, you know? No, definitely. I understand that. Man, that's, that's amazing. Like, MGM, like, definitely. Yes. It was exciting, though. It it absolutely was. But there was a lot of fear, like I said. Um, I guess just walking in, my whole life, I've always had a nine to five job where you go in, you know, when you're working, you clock in, you clock out. Here, I was kind of going from place to place, a new setting, new settings. And it was just, I guess, the fear of the unknown. Um, And you know, especially when you're out there DJing in the summer, it's like 115 degrees outside and equipment, electronics don't work well in the heat. So (laughs) that was a whole stress on its own was the computers over overheating and glitching and just all the stress. (laughs) That's the biggest DJ nightmare. You got to get you one one of these fans. I I mean, actually, I saw somebody on YouTube that had one. I'm like, oh, I got to get this because, yeah, that happened to me a couple of times this summer. <laughs> Everyone has those Terrible. stories, you know, but I can Terrible. tell you my DJ nightmare for sure. <laughs> it was at the MGM um, situation. So, yes. my So, OK, I was set up for success. OK, did everything correct. I had somebody who has been in the game forever helped me out and set me up for success. He was there. I had my computer on top of like a a cooler of ice. I had a AC unit right next to me blowing freezing cold air. Um, I had, you know, water, everything that I needed. Um, And yet my computer was still overheating. So he had made sure I was good and left, right? He's like, call me if you need me. And I think this was like maybe the second time I DJed there. So still very new. Okay. And my computer just goes in and out, in and out, music stopping. And the, the, the worst part about it is not only was I DJing for the people in the pool, but I was also on the intercom, on intercoms for the people in the restrooms, oh. it was the, you know. So the music's going in and out. And I have this most obnoxious guy, like doing backflips in the pool, splashing people. And he's like, boo, get a real DJ, boo. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I was seeing stars. Like I went into full like panic attack. Um, it was that, but also when you work out in the heat, you, you can't skip dinner. You have to eat a good balanced breakfast. You gotta get good sleep. You gotta stay hydrated. And these are things that I didn't prepare for. So I was went into like panic mode and I was like seeing stars. And I just remember I put on like a premix and I just like went to the restroom. And I, I call it when I, t- when I tell the story, I call it my eight mile moment. Cause I turned yeah. something so bad into something that's actually inspiring. I was like, like Eminem dude around the, the toilet, just like gagging, like calling my, my mm-hmm. mentor and being like, please help me. I can't do this. I can't do this. He's like, you can do this. Just take a breath, you know? And he's like, I'm sending somebody over. And that's, what's so amazing about the DJ community is you, you build friends and they have your back and um, DJ Tito showed up and he was just like, Hey, go take a break. I got you. So he was spinning for about an hour while I got myself together. And I went back in there and did my thing. I just remember praying in the bathroom because I can hear the, the music. I was like, please don't oh. stop. No dead air, please. <laughs> so I was like, I'll never forget nightmare. that. Time. That's what nightmares are made of as a DJ. And I was like, because the yeah. worst thing that can happen is the music stops, right? Because absolutely. What are we there for? But the thing well, that people don't realize that when it comes to outdoor conditions, heat, yes, it may happen, but that's not our fault. <laughs> you gotta be patient. <laughs> yeah. We can't control that. Like that, that's you know, and yeah, that that is like the that's the biggest nightmare, but it's like, you can't really, you can't really control it. Cause you can even, I've been under a tent and it's like still so hot and the laptop starts slowing down. I'm like, no, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's exactly what I was told too, is, um, you know, I can be really hard on myself, you know? And I just remember, um, my agent telling me like, look, this happens to everybody, everybody, yeah. unless you're like cascade or marshmallow. And you're like in those big events where they have, like, they're on like ice bars pretty much. Yep. And they have the top of the line 
everything like it happens to everyone and it's expected actually like the managers know it happens to everybody um but when it happens to you it's like oh god help me yeah. Jesus, take the will you know absolutely <laughs> and people like don't realize you know djs we we go through it too you know like sometimes you know on set we might have like a meltdown and we're like trying not to exhibit and show any of it but people don't realize like yeah we like we go we go through it too as well you know mm-hmm. like we lose our minds and you know and then come you know settle back it sell back in and you know get back to business but it happens you know gotta just when those moments happen it's like a little trick that I do is like I just like zip myself up in this armor like and I think about like if I'm not feeling so confident, you know, this was years ago. I feel like I found my confidence. I found it finally, but you know, back then I didn't have that necessarily because I was lacking the experience. And I just, you know, remember like being like, okay, who could I, who could I zip myself up in that's confident, you know, like, and I was like, okay, Kourtney Kardashian, right? She's like, I'm not insecure about any part of my body. A, B, C, D, F, G, this conversation's over. Just like unbothered. And I'm like, zip myself up in Kourtney and I'm being Kourtney right now. And just, you know, and I found, my, I found though, that by doing that, by not being myself, um, it was great at the time because I can get through my set and just, I essentially, I was like playing a part. Okay. And, and I would just leave feeling like, like I wasn't good enough. I'd leave feeling like unworthy. I'd leave feeling so like insecure. And now I'm in a place where it's like, I know that when I walk on that stage, God has placed me there. And that's the greatest confidence that I could ever get is like, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks or says I'm going up on stage as Desiree where God called me and I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And that's the greatest confidence that I could ever, ever have. I don't have to be anybody else but myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is your calling. Keep doing it. And yeah, you got to like, I always say you always got to be your, the biggest cheerleader, like for yourself. Like you have to hype yourself up the most, feel the most confident about yourself because no one's going to feel the best about you except you, you know, you're going to really feel good about yourself. And and you got to tell yourself good things too, even when you're not feeling good, because it's all about the mind. So like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I used to think like, yeah, I'm just playing music, but no, it's, it's, it's deeper than that. (laughs) It it really is deeper than that. You know, like it's not easy to get up there and like, you know, be under a microscope, essentially. Sometimes it feels that way. And sometimes it's not easy, you know, and And that's where the confidence comes in and whether, you know, it's a good set or a bad set, because you, you know, as a DJ, something always goes wrong. Like whether it's a chord or (laughs) you forgot something or whatever, it's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to to grow in every aspect. So I, that's how I see it. Absolutely. What's going on, DJ family, DJ Reese here. Every Monday at 9 a.m. I'm dropping a new podcast episode where I'm highlighting some of the dopest DJs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're DJing at. If you want to hear these stories, level up in your DJing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips. You want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. Every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes, from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com.